Welcome to Moving Through Midlife. I am your host, Courtney, a personal trainer and movement specialist who wants to help you move through midlife with more grace. Each week, we will discuss ways we can show up better for ourselves and our children without the burnout. We will focus on overall health through habit stacking to help increase energy, provide movement snacks to help you move more throughout the day while also moving your body more, and learn from professionals on moving through midlife with ease so that you can feel confident with aging gracefully. Grab your earbuds and join me on a leisurely walk while we discuss moving through midlife. This month over in our Facebook community, we are going to be stretching for self-love. So today I wanna share a movement snack with you that you can practice over the next week or the next month. And all you're going to need to do is have a seat somewhere. Um, You can do this seated in a chair or on the floor. And if you've listened to me before, you know that I would prefer you to get down on the floor so that your hips get to move through a different position. But it can be done if you are limited in mobility. You can have a seat in a chair and work through this and work your way up to being able to sit on the floor. So all you are going to do is if you are seated on the floor, go into a cross-legged position and you're going to reach your arm out to the left beside your body. Just press that um, hand into the floor and then you're going to reach that opposite arm up over so you're doing a side bend but as you do this I want you to think about keeping your hip down so both hip bones stay grounded into the floor or the chair you're reaching your arm up and over and as you do that the arm that is on the floor I want you to try to bring that elbow down towards the mat So you're going to feel a lot of extension in your side. That side is going to be extending and really lengthening and stretching out. This is a great exercise to practice to work on lengthening those sides. If you remember way back in episode 12.2, I mentioned how when you are in your car, a lot of times we will put our elbow on the center console or on the side door, and that changes the rib position and can create some tension and tightness. So this exercise helps to counteract those positions, maybe even just sitting in your like sitting on a couch, you might always lean to one side rather than the other side. So you might get tight muscles on one side of your body. This is a great way to stretch that area, but also assess how things are different on either side, which is why I have you trying to drop your elbow down to the floor. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I missed something, but we'll hit it on this side, and then you can go back and do on the other side as well. So then you're going to reach over to the other side, and I want you to notice, is there a difference between those two sides? Do you feel tighter on one side than the other? If so, you can work to pay attention. This is where that alignment and working through different movements to see how your body is responding and moving. This is something that you can assess where you are and then help to notice how you move. So if one side is tight, you may notice that you tend to lean into that side more often. If you are a mom, especially those of you with little ones, you may notice that when you hold your child, that side, whatever side you're holding your child on, that side is now shortened. So that is going to need more stretch than the opposite side. So just pay attention to how you feel in these positions. So you can go back to the first side or the other side, whichever side you're on. And now this time I want you to think about, so the arm that is up over your head, I want you to think about breathing into that side, deep into the back ribs. 
And I discuss breathing techniques in episode 122 and share the importance of making sure that you're getting breath into those back ribs. So this is a great one to breathe, trying to pull into that back rib area. And you may notice as you're doing that, when you breathe, taking that deep breath, you're just thinking of breathing into your back rib. And you'll notice how you feel some expansion or some stretching through that side. And that's exactly what I want you to feel. The side that you are tighter on, spend a little bit more time on that side breathing. So think about lengthening, take a few deep breaths on that side to expand through that area. And then the other side, you'll just do two or three breaths. You can always double the breaths on the side that is tight. So hopefully you feel good after this exercise. This is one of my favorite exercises to do because it does, it makes me just feel almost longer and I get that back, I, a nice little back, that mid back stretch that I need. Um, and it, I feel like it is a nice thing to kind of wake up and feel a little bit better when doing this. So that is today's movement snack. And if you would like to see more exercises like this, then head to our Facebook community, Moving Through Midlife. And that way you can see not only this exercise, but all the other exercises that we'll post on Mondays to help you get more movement into your day and practice different movement snacks to help you with your alignment, posture, and breathing. I hope you all have a wonderful day and make sure to stretch out and keep moving. I hope you enjoyed this episode and found something to take away to help you practice healthier habits, move more, or handle the midlife and aging with grace. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend or leave us a review to help us reach more moms just like you. Head to movingthroughmidlife.com to join the free community or learn how you can move more and feel better in your daily life.